Okay, so we're back to the RDCs. Uh, this is kind of a clarification. So when I was putting these together, I'd been told by people at Digitrax that I could go ahead and use the green lead, that one right there, F1, and hook that into my interior lights. And fortunately, that runs the bell. They said that's okay because you can go ahead and reprogram it. Well, they were not correct. So I've been in contact with them uh, a few times. Finally, I talked to uh, Nate, and Nate said, no, go to the sound side, which is this side here, and pick up pin one, which is the brown, which goes to F3. Now you could also use the yellow F4 if you wanted to, because F3, of course, is the coupler. Uh, I didn't try F4. I may next time. Uh, this is, by the way, a change now with the 166. Uh, they've updated their their schematic to show the sound side, which they hadn't done before. Okay, you've probably seen the videos. I've done several of these RDCs, one, twos, and threes. This one is direct wired. I didn't use the board except to hold the lights. One of the problems with this was um, talking to people at Yankee Dabbler and Digitrax. They said basically hook up the green wire to the interior lights. It'll operate off of F1 with a bell and you can reprogram that later to isolate the lights from the bell. Comes to find out it just don't work that way. So what I've had to do is, uh, talking with Nate at Digitrax, who's one of their technicians, uh, he said, no, that doesn't work. Unfortunately, I didn't talk to Nate before. So what he suggested was two things, either mute the bell, which I don't want to do because the bell's required, or hook up to the green lead on the sound side, or which would make it F3 but that has the uh, coupler sound to it or hook up to the yellow lead which takes you to F4 which isn't being used so what I've done on this one is I've taken it apart and I've rewired it and you see I've got the yellow lead coming off and I've brought it down and connected it to the green lead that was coming off of F1 so I'm going to turn this on just for a second and I'll show you now that I can have the bell and I can have my interior lights without any interference. And it's not a big thing really, you just have to open it up and if you have one of these already done or if you are going to do one and you want to use the SDH-166 which I really like and Yankee Dabbler is still the source I go to because when you order it, especially not so much on eBay, but if you go online to yankeedabbler.com, you can order the SDH-166 and then in the remarks column, tell them you'd like it programmed for an RDC. And they will do that, and then when you wire it, make sure you take the yellow lead, the F4 lead off of the sound side of the decoder, right over here, the small, the small plug, and hook that in to your resistor and then on into the negative side of your LEDs. And these LEDs I just went ahead and, and redid too. I put some black liquid uh, tape on them to eliminate the light going up and trying to light up the, uh, the top of the roof of the cab because it is fairly thin. And that seems to work out really well. I haven't operated at night. I don't even know if I have a problem, but it just makes sense to do. So let me see if I can get this thing plugged in then we'll come back to it and I'll show you how F4 works this thing. Okay I've got the sound on really low so I'm gonna go to F4 on the MRC Tech 6 and I'm gonna hit it and I get my interior lights. I can go to F1 now and I get my bell. I'll turn it up I guess. And it doesn't affect my lights. And I still have three for my coupler click. 
So that really helps out a lot. And I can run my lights uh, zero just like before. None of that has changed. And I can operate my lights inside. I just moved the wire that's hooked up to the wheels because this is direct wired instead of using the board. Uh, anyway, I'm pretty pleased with this. I'm going to put it all back together, put it on the track, and uh, we'll play with it for a little bit. Okay, I've redone this a little bit in here. Uh, we moved to a different place. We have a three bedroom now. Make sure grandson plays. So I'm going to turn the sound up. Have my horn. Have my bell. And if I go to three, I have my coupler sound. And if I go to four, I get my interior lights. I'm in reverse. We'll go to forward. For some reason, using three and four when you change directions the first time, I just went back to reverse. I just went back to forward. It gives you what sounds like a coupler clack. Now, if that's coming off number four, you should be able to go in and mute number four completely. So all you get is the lights on and no sound coming from it at all. So this works. Number four works really good. Number three works. Except it is directly hooked up to the coupler clack. So I have no idea why I'm getting sounds. But that's just me. Maybe you do. And if you do, why don't you leave a message on this thing and tell me what's going on. So that's the difference now in putting these RDCs together and instead of using the green lead and F1, I've been able to go ahead and, and use four. I can turn it off, my lights still work. There's that sound when I reverse. My bell works. And my horn works. And I can quiet it. So that's it. Just a really short one, just to kind of let you know how I came around that thing. And uh, I'm pleased. I love being able not to listen to that bell all the time when I got my lights on.